today we're here at the Canadian National Exhibition. As the commercials say, let's go to the X. So we went to the X. Since 1879, the CNE has been Ontario's go-to source for carnival games and the latest in agricultural technology. For over a century, families have been bringing their children here in sopping wet bathing suits, and the CNE has been helping to hasten the breakup of countless romantic relationships. But lately, in the past couple years, it's sort of ballooned into something else. First, there was the enormous hamburgers, and then the bacon weaves, and then the deep-fried Mars bars. But now the CNE is a kind of all-out trough of culinary daredevilry. But really, a uh, deep-fried Mars bar feels quaint when you compare it with a lot of the menu items that are on display this year. There's such things as a Belgian waffle topped with turkey and all the Thanksgiving trimmings. There's chocolate fried chicken. There's chocolate bars baked inside of croissants and corn dog funnel cake hybrids. And even a s'more bao, which is a traditional Asian bun topped with campfire s'more fixings. So if you want to eat a food that's sort of captures the entire consumptive force of global capitalism itself, I'd say you should go for the s'more bow. Maybe this is all in good fun, but after last year's food poisoning debacle, where hundreds of people reported feeling gastrointestinal distress after eating a cronut burger, which is a cheeseburger sandwiched between a donut croissant hybrid pastry, I can't help but wonder what the end game is. I mean, it feels to me like the food vendors are in this sort of caloric arms race with the consumers and with each other, where it's this sort of race to the bottom to create a food that is so crapulent and decadent and disgusting that it will destroy us all. But in a way, this might all be in continuity with the X's rich 135 year history. I mean, now it's just the patrons coming to the X who are the livestock on display. The whole sort of spectacle of wrapping our dripping mouths around a Thanksgiving turkey waffle becomes its own attraction. In a way, this sort of joke food cuisine is a midway game where everybody wins. So, bon appetit, I guess. Just uh, leave your belt at home and your shame and any lingering sense of self-preservation.